Okay, well that was a lot to eat, so now I've taken my Dramamine and we're heading over to Charleston. I want you to meet Captain Kirk, captain of the Shamrock Fishing Boat and owner and operator of Betty K Charters. Here we are at the marina and we're going to show you another fun family outing for all while you're visiting this cool town. Let's go fishing! That's new it, Vinny. That's some fish, man. So how much fishing experience? My fishing level? Yeah. So basically I grew up in New York, but we got to do a lot of fishing over uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. We go for deep blue fish. We'd leave it uh, like eight at night, start fishing at one in the morning. Then we'd fish till about four in the morning, five in the morning, and then we'd get back at, at dawn. And then my, my family grew up having boats. So we did a lot of fishing and it was called the Long Island Sound in New York. This is the Shamrock right here. How old is the Shamrock? Shamrock is a 1969 Young Quest wood wood hold boat, aluminum house. This is wood? Wood hold aluminum house. This is a good boat. Look at this, baby. Look at this. It's the real fishing boat with the salty dog. Right, the salty dog. So can I come up, Captain? Absolutely, come on up. Okay, let's get her going. Oh, that's power. We got power. Well, Vinny, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the line. If you wanna cast off, you're more than welcome. Cast off, you mean I get to throw the rope over? Yes, sir. Okay, you got it. Anything Anything you want me to say? Cast off? Yeah, let's cast off. Cast off? Cast off. I'm just talking this. Cast off. We're out. Fishing is nothing new here in the Coos Bay, Charleston area. It has a long history. As a matter of fact, there are fish for every season and an endless choice of prime fishing spots to select from. There are more than 30 freshwater lakes and rivers to choose from in Coos County, as well as a fantastic bay and ocean fishing. Another nice thing to know about this area is that it's the safest bar crossing on the Southern Oregon coast. I think it's time to get traditional because uh, my bald head is cold already and we haven't even got on the ocean yet. Whew. How long you been a captain, Captain? I've been a captain almost 15 years. I've been with Betty K Charters for uh, 22 years. Uh, start, you... Started out as a deck hand. Deck hand, okay. Mm -hmm. Started out fishing with uh, Captain Bill and Captain Kathy and they taught me a lot. Bill, Bill got to the point to where he wanted to retire, and, and I'm not done yet. He sold me the business almost five years ago, uh, from deckhand to captain to owner. That's a lot of work, huh? It uh, can be, yeah. Lots of hours. Early hours. But it's, yeah, but it's worth it. Well, you know, there's that saying that people don't, they don't buy what, uh, they don't buy what you're selling, they they buy it because of why you're selling it. Right. So when you have a love for something, it's it's not hard to it's not hard to be seen and share it with other people. So three P, three GPSs, two fish finders, two engines, oh, and, the, two and, engines and the most important thing on the whole boat, compass. The, the compass. Yeah. Good morning, Tower. Um, just wanted to inform you that I have. Five people on board. We're going to go out for a short excursion. Should be back within five hours, or within two hours. We have one of the deepest uh, bar crossings because we are an international port. So we have. Coos Bay is an international port? We are. Isn't in Portland as well? Portland, yes. So there's no more international ports going south? No. No. Uh, they're in California, obviously. But uh, here in Oregon, uh, we have uh, one of the safest bars because we're deep. This trip is a must, but remember, take your motion sickness just to be safe and sure. Okay, and our destination today is gonna be right up by that, do you see that yellow can out there? That's, that's basically where we're gonna be headed. How high are these little swells right here? These swells are probably about four and a half, five feet. Hey, look at that, Ross. Look at these. Look at these. These waves they look monstrous, but they're not. But they're not. Ah, there's our destination right there. 
What's it called, Reef? Baltimore Reef, and the yellow can out there is called Baltimore Buoy. Are we going to the red dot? Yeah, right now what we're doing, all these spots that I have marked right here, those little X's, the blue and the, the red ones, those are all spots with rock on it where I have had uh, yes. success, yes. Here we are, folks, Baltimore Reef. Now, this is all rock right here, the red. Right, right rock. But that, okay. that little bit of pixelation over the top of it, Yeah, that's fish. Well, Vinny, what do you say we go fishing? Let's go fishing. Let's do it. Vinny, I've got a pole ready for you right here, and I'll walk you through it. All right. We're bottom fishing, right? We are. OK, now turn the pole over so you got your thumb on it. Can I use my right hand? Any hand you want. OK, I released it already. Let your, let your thumb slide on that bale as you go down. And you want it to drop down fast, just not so fast that you get slack in the line. Fast and steady. Once, once it gets down to the bottom, it won't be able to let out fast anymore. Click that lever back up after that, okay? Okay. And then usually just a nice reel off the bottom will make your best presentation for catching fish. There, there you go. go, you're on bottom. So like maybe a couple of reels off the bottom? Yeah. Usually what we like to do is kind of a constant motion. Uh, if you're not reeling, you're dropping. So I'm not reeling, I'm dropping. I'm not reeling, I'm dropping. Right, what are we looking for? There's here? fish on. Mini. Okay. Mini. Go ahead and reel that up. Oh, wow. There was a fish there. Yep, he's there. This was supposed to be my pull. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't want any slack. We want to keep it tight the whole time. Tight line, tight line. Tight line, tight line. So no pull back, pull forward anymore. That's, that's, not, that's not a great idea. The best it's idea is just to to reel and keep his head pointed at you. Woo! That is a lean cod. What? Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. He got teeth in there. Big time teeth. Oh, dang. That's, and that's a little one. That's a small one. Wow, that is, and they put up a good fight? A very good fight. Wow, well, thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. You did it, Cap. You caught one right away. So, Lin Cod, what else are you pulling out of here? Lin Cod, blacks, blues, vermilion. Fish on. Reel. Do a little reeling. Huh? Do a little bit of reeling and then drop it back down and then do a little bit more reeling. Think of it like a long jig. Oh, really? So, we're trying to cover a bunch of. Right, because these fish can be stacked up 30, 40 feet in the water column. That's, that's fish. You got him. That's fish on. It's a baby. There it is. I think I'm the one that's got the baby. I think you got it. Oh, no, we both got it. <laughs> <laughs> we both got one. Here, let me get up a little bit. Coming up. Yep. They swam around each other when they were down there, so. These are both black rock fish. I like these. These are amazing fish. Lightly breaded. Being out there on the ocean on that boat was like being a kid again. It brought back all these old memories of growing up and my dad taking me fishing. What an experience. So much fun. Please, please go give it a try. Man, what a day. Beautiful out here. What a great captain.